Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our first example of how to apply the equations we just went through on an, an oscillatory motion problem with damping effect. So let's say we have a spring with spring constant 5 newtons per meter, a mass suspended from it equal to 0.5 kilograms, and it's being affected by some damping effect. The damping constant is 2 kilograms per second. So the questions are, what will be the new frequency, and what will be the uh, damping factor required for critical damping? Now maybe I'll do one more thing, is what would be the, in the frequency equal to if there was no damping in this case, so just to, as a comparison. All right, so first of all, we need the equation for the new frequency. And the new frequency is going to be equal to the square root of k over m minus b squared over 4m squared. All right, plug in what we know. This is equal to the square root of k would be equal to 5, m is going to be equal to 0 0.5 minus b, which is 2. We have to square that, divided by 4 times the mass. Mass is uh, 0 0.5, and we have to square that as well. All right, so what's that equal to? This is equal to the square root of 5 divided by 0.5, which is 10, minus, that would be 4 divided by 4 divided by 0 0.5 squared, which is 0.25 squared, that would be 4. So this is equal to the square root of 6, which is equal to, and let's see here with a calculator. Take 6, take the square root of that, and that would be 2.45. 2.45, that would be uh, hertz, or not actually hertz, but it would be radians per second. So radians per second. And then, of course, if you want the frequency associated with that, that would be equal to omega prime divided by 2 pi, which is equal to 2.45 divided by 2 divided by pi, which is equal to 0.39 oscillations per second. So that would be hertz. All right, so that would be the frequency by, uh, on a system like this, with a system like that. What would be the B required for critical damping? Well, for critical damping, you want that quantity to be equal to zero, so you want b squared to be equal to, uh, that would be 4km. All right, so b would be equal to the square root of 4km. So b is equal to the square root of 4 times k, which is 5, times m, which is 0 0.5. That would be 2 times 5, which is 10, so b is equal to uh, the square root of 10. And so b is equal to, take the square root of 10, that would be 3.16, and that would be kilograms, the units are kilograms per second. The last thing we want to do is figure out um, what the original frequency would be. And of course, the original frequency would be the square root of k over m if there was no damping effect at all, which is equal to the square root of k, which is 5, divided by m, which is 0 0.5 which is equal to the square root of 10, which is equal to 3.16 radians per second. Interesting that we get the same values we did over here. And of course, if we then take the frequency like this, this is equal to omega sub naught divided by 2 pi, which is equal to 3.16 divided by 2 pi, which is equal to 2 divided by pi equals, so the frequency without damping would be 0 0.50 hertz. As you can see, the difference from 0.39 with damping to 0.5 with without the damping. And that's how you do a problem like that. That's how you find the frequency and the damping factor required to have critical damping. So uh, if B is equal to 2 kilograms per second, so we'd have to kind of increase it by about 50 or 60 percent to get to critical damping. So we do that.